Good afternoon, good afternoon. Man, God is so, so good. I'm just going to share what's on my heart. Hallelujah. Mm, come Holy Spirit. Lord, I thank you. You are holy and you are worthy. You are righteous. You are righteous. You are righteous. Lord, I pray that you speak to me and speak through me. Anoint every word that comes out of my mouth. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Um, God is so good. Hallelujah. Um, so, you know, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And his word never changes. His word never changes. So, therefore, we have, you know, the, the doctrine that the apostles and uh, prophets, teachers, evangelists, and pastors don't exist anymore. Well, that's, that's not true. So, we still today in the earth, there is the apostles the prophets, the evangelists, the teachers, and the pastors. Again, I say, yes, there are apostles, the prophets, the, past, the um, evangelists, teachers, and the pastors. There, we have to be under um, um, the apostolic leadership. We have to, we have to submit ourselves under a, a true apostle. Um, we have to, or we're, I mean, how can I word that? Um, to uh, get the fullness of God in us, to dwell in us, to become the fullness of God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Um, I'll tell you a story. Uh, I, I, I'd sent my pastors a, 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 a message, and I, I was. I said, you know, I've been praying for the church, my church, I've been praying for the church that God would send prophets to the church, you know, and then I felt self, like I was being selfish, I was like, oh man, so, and then I changed it up, I'm praying that God will send apostles, prophets, evangelists, teachers, and pastors to the church to help with the work of the ministry, right, um, Jesus name, it wasn't a week, week and a half later or something like that, um, we had had this one night revival at our church and uh, a brother Comanche came with the fire, hallelujah, to preach at our church. Uh, uh, the leaders or pastors of other churches in the surrounding areas all came and uh, anyway, and uh, Comanche uh, preached that night. But anyway, the house was full of the leaders, which were some apostle. There was apostle and there was prophets in the room, evangelists teachers and, and pastors man my heart was so blessed i was like hallelujah praise the lord anyway god is on the move and i'm so excited but we need to all be uh submit ourselves to to an apostle and a prophet um somebody that god has called for this hour raised up in this hour hallelujah and i'm so thankful my it's like we can only grow as far as whoever we're under um I'm telling you, and religion will keep you bound in chains. Um, I, I mean, religion about took me out. I mean, it had my voice. Um, I was muted. Like, I, 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 I had no voice. Um, I was so confused with, I don't even want to get started on this, about women in ministry. Like, because I was, wherever I was at, now don't get me wrong, God, I was filled with the word and and things, but I was just bound and changed to a degree because until I got under uh, where a woman was able to be in ministry, and then just things exploded for me. And then when I got under the apostle, I just whew, like hallelujah. So things it, it matters where you're, uh, who you're under. And I forgot where I was going with that. I was about the religion about it took me out. I'm telling you, the devil was after me. <laughs> through religion that's the biggest stronghold i've seen yet um and it's crazy and another thing i'm saying coming to the gifts the spiritual gifts they have not ceased again the word of god is alive and it's still today jesus has not changed his word has not changed so therefore the spiritual gifts which are um the gift of prophecy the gift of the word of knowledge the gift of discerning of spirits, 
the gift of uh, great faith, the gift of healing, the gift to the ability to perform miracles, uh, the gift of tongues, the gift of interpretation of tongues. Um, if I've left one out, my bad. Uh, anyway, all these gifts, they exist. Um, I mean, we have to. We're not going to get anywhere if they don't. I mean, my life would not be. Ex I would. Nothing would make sense to me if none of this stuff existed. I wouldn't. It, I mean, just, that'd be crazy, you know. Hallelujah. Um, so I'm so thankful. God is so good. Hallelujah. I'm just so thankful I'm in a place where I can grow and grow and grow. I love to grow and know more. I just knowledge. The gift of word of knowledge. If I didn't say that. The gift of the word of wisdom. Hallelujah. I love wisdom. Jesus is king. Hallelujah. And he is coming back for his bride as soon without a spot or blemish. Be full of the Holy Ghost and power. Hallelujah. Praise God. Man, that is so cool. Love, mm -mm 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 -mm. love, 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 love. Anyway, so I'm excited. We're going to be going back, going to, I think, the churches at Comanche Church this Sunday night in Monroe. I forget what it's called, New Hope. I want some, I'm going to get some new hope. Hallelujah. I pray that new hope arise in you right now in Jesus' name. Get some new hope. Hallelujah. So I'm excited about that. Some fresh, fresh fire again. Yeah, I'm excited. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mm. You know how cool it is to be with like-minded people. Man, that's that makes a difference in everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does it have the same goal in mind? You know? Love God, love people. I want to see people saved, people bring, brought into the kingdom of God, and people grow. And I'm excited. I'm excited. Hallelujah. Come, Holy Spirit. Lord, I thank you for each person that's going to watch this video. Lord, I pray that you bring fresh revelation to them. Mm. I pray that you fill them with the fullness of your spirit. Yes, Lord. Remove any hindrances. All doubt and unbelief. God, I pray the gift of faith would arise in them in Jesus' name. In love. More love, God, and more power. Hallelujah, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, in Jesus' name. Man, you know my greatest desire is... Oh, look, we need to to honor... We need to recognize... This is where I'm going with that. With the, recognize, you know, our leaders, the, the who God has raised up in this hour as our pastors and leaders, and especially the pastors, because my goodness, um, they got... That's something I'm like... That takes like a special, special, special grace for that. And praise the Lord for them. Um, my goodness. Um, but uh, to honor our pastors, to honor our teachers, to honor our evangelists. I mean, to honor our apostles and our and our and our prophets. Uh, because there's a uh, for that for the call on their life. Um, they have to die to self some more than others. I mean, there uh, some of them you got to die completely. So um, it's not it's not free. Um, and it's, 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 it's a lot to it. So pray for them and honor them and recognize who they are in your life. And they don't have to have no title. Just recognize them and honor them. Hallelujah. Um, man, my desire is just to be in worship and singing to the Lord and praying all day and all night. You know, there's just a supernatural thing going on with like energy and strength. Like, you know, just... Just being with the Lord in the heavenly places. You know we are seated with Christ in the heavenly places. Ponder that. That's some good stuff. Hallelujah. Y'all have a blessed. Oh, glory. Glory. Mountain top. I don't want to go down ever again. Hallelujah. Lord, keep me in your presence forever. Mm.
glory, glory. Man, I pray that y'all just have a new experience with the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. He is so good. He is so good. So good. In Jesus' name. I love you. I love you. And go in peace.